Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Turfway Park here on Saturday. It is April the 2nd, 2016. We're going to look at the stakes races here on the Spiral Stakes Day, uh, prep to the Kentucky Derby via Turfway Park uh, underway today. So I'm going to look at the stakes races, races 8, 9, and 10. If you want more selections, remember to follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 I think you know that. So now let's get on to it. Today's 8th race from uh, Turfway Park. What is the Rushway Stakes, purse $100,000 for Kentucky Breads, three rolls. We have a field of 12 horses traveling a mile and a 16th on the all-weather surface. Forgot it. it was all-weather for a second. Uh, mile 16th. And my top selection here, I'm going to do a trifecta key. Um, actually, not a trifecta key. Uh, a super key sounds decent. Or maybe even I'll play an uh, exact key. But I'm going to key in on the one Gimlet at 3-1 to with Florent Giroux. I'm going to put that horse on top of my ticket with the 4, 6, 12 underneath. For 10 cents, this uh, super should cost you 60 cents. But number one, Gimlet. 3-1 to Florent Giroux for Todd Fletcher at 11-drop kid. Um, last time at Rennick Goldstream Park, mile 16th on the 27th of February in the Palm Beach Stakes. Finished fifth by one and a half lengths that day, and was closing up towards the end, but was far back early. It was 11th, and you know just had a horrible trip. Was three wide second turn, was rallying late, but after that, you know he he, he needed a little bit more. Um, then at uh, start four, that was a main special weight at Goldstream Park, mile eighth on a good turf course, January 23rd for 40,000 main special weight. Source one by three quarters in length, you know. He, he got the lead at the 8th pole and really went on to a very nice victory, I have to say. It was a very good race for this horse. And then first career start was at 7.5 rungs at Gulfstream Park on the turf. Uh, and, and some 12th main special weight, 40,000. Finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths. You know, he was very good that day. So going to go with this one. So to recap my bets for the 8th race from Turfway Park is the Rushway Stakes. Going to go with the one horse here. Going to do a uh, super key. One with the four, six, 12. For 10 cents, can cost you 60 cents. So now let's get on to race number nine. The ninth race from... Uh, if you can get my hair out of the way. Ninth race from Turfway Park is the 34th edition of the Bourbonette Oaks. Uh, grade 3, purse $100,000 for Phillies for reals. We have a field of 14 horses. The 13 and 14 are also eligible, traveling one mile over the all weather poly track surface. One mile. And I'm going to do another super key here in this race. Going to key in on the six horse, who is Looking Sister, who is a top selection here. Uh, going to keep that horse on top with the 2, 3, 8, 12 underneath for 50 cent, uh, for 10 cents. This should cost you $2.40. But number uh, six, Lookout Sister, 6 to 1, Alan Garcia for Grand Motion. Last time out, ran at uh, Keeneland. It hasn't started since October the 2nd. Uh, Keeneland, mile 16th, and Alcibiades is grade 1 event that day. This horse finished 10th by 28 lengths, and uh, I, I don't know if this horse liked to slop that day. Uh, you know, this horse hopped up to start, was really one to go, but uh, John Velasquez didn't want to let this horse go. You know, you could just throw that race out. The biggest question today is, with the long way off, can this horse really run? So, just keep that in mind. Start before that was at Delaware Park, 5 9 furlongs and a 75 over night stakes and, uh, and this horse won by three quarters length and won pretty convincingly and then uh, I want to go back to this horse's first uh, Randy Adirondack stakes actually at Saratoga a six and a half on the uh, 15th of August finished fifth by ten lengths and won a main special weight by one three quarter lengths back at Delaware Park has been trading on the turf at Palm uh, Meadows five for, five for all workout 102 and 2 what is the 5th best out of 6 workouts that day, and a 4-4 workout, 51 flat, the 14th best out of 18. So this horse has been training on the turf, you know, um, uh, turf horses tend to be good, synthetic horses also. So gonna go with this one. So to recap my bets for the ninth race, the Bourbonette Oaks from Turfway Park. Gonna go with the 6 horse here, gonna do uh, Super Key 6 with the 2, 3, 8, 12 for 10 cents, gonna cost you $2.40. So now let's get on to today's feature 10th race. The 10th race is the 45th edition of the Horseshoe Casino Cincinnati Spiral Stakes. Purse $500,000 for three rolls. We have a field of 14 three rolls. 13 and 14 are also eligible. Traveling a mile and one eighth or 1800 meters. And I'm going to go through every horse in this race to give you an idea of what I think on, of every horse. And uh, it's a very good race here, if we can get the uh, the page open. And we're going to start off to the inside with the number one. That makes sense with Kobe Hernandez for D. Wayne Lucas. And uh, I can't, I don't know if D. Wayne Lucas actually has a horse 
a really good horse entered for the Derby. I think he does actually, but uh, not a you know like one of a Derby contender. That's a, a game because I, just looking at this horse, I'll have to do a hell of a lot to really win today. Um, he has one win that was the main special weight back at Oakland on the uh, a, a, a wet course on a good course. He won by a neck with Gary Stevens up that day. It was, that was a really good. Um, closing victory. His, his running style is a closer, and he, he does good on dirt. Um, so I, that's something a little good, but, I, you know, he'll have to... He, I think uh, the, a lot of other horses in this race are a, a notch above this one. Um, maybe in a super high five, I'll put him up, or maybe even a super factor, but he's he's definitely not a use for me in a win or or win or uh, exacto wager. Super high, a super factor or high five, maybe, uh, but not uh, to to win or uh, or um, place. But uh, yeah, so that's my take on number one. Number two, surgical strike Orlando Boca Chica or Orlando Mojica. Um, at 12 to 1, um, three old Colt here. Last time out, won the prep for this race. John Battaglia back uh, on the 12th of March. I won it by two and a uh, half lengths that they got the lead at the chopper stretch and just really opened up a very nice victory uh, for this horse. Um, it was far back early, got it was 11th. Um, early on the race. Um, and then the prep for the uh, John Battaglia was the WEBN -E stakes, the Webin, <laughs> on the uh, the 20th of February. This horse finished third by uh, one and a half lengths. It was closing up that day, but, you know, he, he just, uh, he needed a little bit more. I think the mile and eight distance should be good for this horse. Um, that being said, t to, to win or place, no, trifecta, and down, like, you know, for like a trifecta, superfecta, super high five, I would use this horse. I, I, you know, there, there are a lot better horses in this race also. The th three horse Jensen, six to one, uh, with Florent Giroux for Larry Jones out of Hainesfield in uh, Spice Town. Um, who, Hainesfield, who's out of Spice Town. But uh, last time out at the fairgrounds, this horse has never run against uh, State Co Company. This horse was running against Lounge Optional Claimer Company last time out. Mile 70 on the uh, 25th of February at the, at the fairgrounds. This horse won by six and three quarter lengths. He's on the lead all throughout and, you know, had a really good ride. He looks like he could be the speed of the race, I think. But I, that being said, I. Yeah, there's a lot of closes in this race. If you it is the speed um, that I think could overtake this horse, he's not a use for me. Um, watch out for this horse after the start. I, I would like to see how this horse does, but he's not a use for me in any really you know a lot of tickets. Um, but the four horse, don't be so salty at eight one with um, Cornelio Vasquez, this uh, three year old gelding reported as gelding on the 18th of May of 2015. Um, is a use for me on a few tickets. Um, he, he's very good. He's a very good turf horse. I think that form should really... Uh, and synthetic horse. I forgot. He, he ran on the synthetic over up at uh, Woodbine in the display stakes back in uh, November. The horse won by a neck that day. It was on the lead all throughout and just held that day. But um, last time out on the Palm Beach stakes uh, at Gulfstream Park, mile 16th on the 27th of February, the horse finished ninth by three lengths that day. You know, he didn't have that really good late run that day. If you remember the race, everybody was coming towards the finish. Um, start before that was in the Kitten's Joy stakes on the 30th of January. This horse, um, he finished second by three quarters length, was on the lead all throughout, just got, uh, you know, he... he uh, he didn't win, I have to say that, because uh, he got bumped at the 16th ball. I think that could have been, uh, uh, well, he bumped somebody at the 16th ball, let me say that. So, uh, you know, it wasn't the best run for him that day. One of the display stakes, he's a definitely used to really do well. Um, he'll, he'll, be, she'll, uh, he'll be the speed of this race also. Um, so that's my take on Dopey Salty. He's going to be in a few exactas, probably, or, or a few trifectas. Um, he's not going to be my top selection here. But number five, Oscar nominated, who I also have on a few tickets. Last time out with uh, Robbie Alvarado for Mike Maker out of Kitten's Joy, last time out actually ran at uh, the fairgrounds in the black gold seven and a half furlong uh, stakes race on the turf. So horse won by two and a half lengths. Was really closing up that day. Got the lead at the 316th fall and just went on clear. Uh, then again, seven and a half furlongs in a 50,000 stakes race. Finished second by neck. It was very, very good for a second place finish. He started all his races on the uh, turf. That form usually transferred to, to synthetic really well. He's definitely used for me if he could close up really well. Um, not to win, but I think he's for a good uh, exotics horse. Um, the uh, the six horse, two step time at 15 1. Again, for Mike Maker, who trains this one. Last time out, we're in Sam Houston, uh, mile 16th on February 27th. And um, just one of those 50,000 stakes races. Horse won by neck that day. 
he got up there late. Um, it was a decent race, and then the OBS Championship uh, races at Ocala back in uh, uh, January. This horse finished second by length, and you know he was rallying up that day. Um, he's not a use for me. I, I think he'll have to do a hell of a lot to win. Um, maybe next time out in a different race on synthetic, maybe they'll take this horse up to Woodbine or to uh, or to uh, Prescott or Arlington. I, I would see this horse there maybe, but I think he'll have to do a hell of a lot. Um, the seven horse, another Mike Maker trained horse. Uh, if the five, six, and seven are all Mike Maker trained horses, seven is Strike Up the Band. This uh, three-year-old gelding reported as gelding on the twentieth of of uh, what do you call twentieth of October of twenty fifteen. Um, this horse is getting blinkers on for the first time. Um, last time out in the prep race, the John Pataglia Memorial, this horse finished um, fourth by six and a half lengths. And, you know, he, he was wide at quarter pole. And he, when uh, the winner, the eventual winner who was in this race, took over, they just weren't catching him. So it wasn't his best run. That was the horse's uh, first run on synthetic. And personally, I, I, I don't think this horse really. He, he did okay, but he didn't do that well. I want to go back to a race, 7th and 9th, 7 half wrongs on Gulfstream Park Turf Course. This horse finished 9th by 12 and a quarter lengths that day, and he just weakens. Um, I don't know if. It, it does he like the t the uh, synthetic? We'll have to really see um, if he if he does. I'm not using him in, on any of the tickets. Um, so yeah, uh, but the eight horse, who is a very good horse, Casopia, for at six to one for Alan uh, Garcia, who rides this one for Graham Ocean, who trains this one, is a definite use. He's actually my top selection in this race. Uh, last time at Golden Gate Fields in the El Camino Real Derby on the. Uh, 13th of February. This horse finished third by three lengths. It had a horrible break that day. It was wide in the first turn. What this horse did coming up for third was pretty remarkable. I remember watching the race because I had this horse that day. And uh, looking at the race, I was like, oh, God, this horse is going to, you know, not do well. But what he did was pretty impressive getting up for third that day after all that trouble. Um, if he gets a good break today, I think this horse will really excel here today. Uh, he's a definite use. Like I said, he's the top selection here. He won over in Synthetic already um, over in England running at Kempton. Uh, and uh, he broke his main, actually, at Kempton. Um, that is a poly track also. So he's going to run a poly track again. One by nine lengths. and just won pretty impressively. Um, and then finished uh, second in the uh, Gray Stakes at Woodbine back in October. Uh, but uh, he got Lasix for the first time last, uh, last time out. Getting Lasix again. Uh, he's at 6 to 1. Good price here. Really like this horse here. Um, now let's get on to the 9 horse Swagger Jagger <laughs> um, at tw 20 to 1. This horse, um, a definite throw out. He, he'll have to do a hell of a lot also to win. He, I, he, I don't have him on any uh, tickets. Um, maybe, uh, you know, he had a really good workout, but he, he'll just have to do a hell of a lot. He's won once. That was the main switch rate on turf at Goldstream Park West, Coulter. So, um, He'll just, he, he's not uh, the, the best horse in this race. Uh, another Mike Maker trained horse. Uh, number 10, Arrow Force. Uh, three to one here, Alvin Jimenez on this one. Uh, this horse uh, finished second in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf uh, back in uh, at Keelan back in October. This horse uh, won the Kentucky Jockey Club at uh, Churchill in November. And last time out the fairgrounds, this horse finished 10th in the Risen Star. That race is pretty, you know, it was a weird race. I think this horse could be on the improvement today. Uh, I'm going to go, I have him on a ticket, uh, on the ticket for Exacto or, or uh, Trifecta Super, Super 5 5. But, uh, you know, I, I really like the price of um, Casapia, the uh, 8 horse. That's why I, I didn't go with this one. But I think this horse should really have a strong move. Back to a surface this horse really likes. He's, he does good on turf. But uh, all the Marcassi horses do good on synthetic because you know they're up in Can and up, up in Canada, running on that uh, poly track. But now it's uh, it's a uh, tapita. But this horse should really be on the improvement today. That last race was his first race in about two months. So you could give him an, a little bit of excuse, actually three months I think. Um, but uh, you throw that last race out, he should be uh, a definite, uh, definite, uh, you know, improvement here today. Number eleven is Rowles. Rowles, we'll go with that, at 6 to 1, Corey Nakatani, and, uh, you know, I, this horse is another wise guy horse, I would put him on a trifecta or a super, I wouldn't put him to place, or, you know, he, he looks very, um, he, he's running on two weeks rest, he ran uh, two weeks ago in the Rebel Stakes, finished 10th by uh, 10 quarter lengths, and, you know, he didn't have the best to run, he, he didn't, he saved ground, but he hadn't, 
he didn't have a slot open that day. Um, the start for that, that was the horse's first start since the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, also where he finished last. He finished 14th. He won the hopeful, but I think going the, the distance is not going to be the best thing for the horse. The uh, I think this horse is more towards a mile and seven furlongs. He, he was lucky in the hopeful, but after that, he's been pretty unlucky, finishing 6th, 14th, and 10th. Um, like I said, maybe a trifecta, superfecta. Sixth one is being pretty reasonable, I think. Um, so yeah, number ten, uh, number twelve actually is Azar, who I have on a few tickets. Who is at uh, five to one? Todd Pletcher. Um, this horse would probably be my third selection. Uh, I would probably, if you wanted to give me, if I wanted to give you a straight, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, trifecta. I would go eight. 10, 12, 8, 10, 12 for Dollar's can cost you a dollar. But Azar, he last time out ran at Goldstream Park, mile 16th and optional 75 claimer. The source won that day. Finished during the Kitten's Joy. Had a horrible trip in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. The source finished 13th uh, and finished second in the Pilgrim. The source should be on the improvement today. Uh, it was one, the, he, broke, he actually broke his um, uh, maiden in a grade two with anticipation stakes up at Saratoga, and he ran really well. Um, like I said, this horse should really handle the course. Manuel Franco coming in from uh, New York to ride this one. They purchased this horse for $300,000 at Keeneland 2014 September sale, so I'm going to go with this one. And uh, the also eligible is 13. Um, he'll have to do a hell of a lot, but he doesn't look that bad. And the 14, uh, Diplobas, Diplodas. Um, you know, he, he's entered for a race at Sandy, and I'm not sure which one he's going to run out, but he's he, he's not of use for me. So, here are my plays for this race. Gonna, my top selection is going to be the 8-horse Casapia. Going to probably do an exact, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, exact key 8 with the 4, 5, 10, 12. For a dollar, it's going to cost you $4. dollars going to do a 10 cent super here, 8 with the 4, 5, 10, 12. That's going to cost you $2.40. I'm also going to have a super high five play and an extended uh, um, ticket for, um, what do you call that, uh, an extended super effective ticket on my uh, Twitter account, at Horse Racing Kid 5. And, uh, you know, if you if I want to give you a straight um, exact uh, straight trifecta, it's going to be 8, 10, 12. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody, and let's make some money.